Hello, are you looking at the lineup of Moxie planners and you're not quite sure which one you really should pick? I've got a run through of questions that you should ask yourself when deciding on a planner. And then I'm also going to go through each of the planner options from Moxie Life for 2022 and reasons why you might wanna consider using that for your planner. Hi, this is Katie from Crafting Ruby Dreams and welcome back to my channel where I talk about planners, goal setting, writing, publishing, and getting right with my finances. I'm gonna start off with questions that you should ask yourself when deciding on a planner. You may have seen some videos from Plan With Lore about this topic, which are really great and I will link to to them in a card above so please go check that out if you're still at the beginning stage of I don't even know what kind of planner I should get which totally understandable but some questions to ask yourself are what is your budget for getting a planner because as I say in my intro I'm about getting right with my finances and this is a very serious question now your priorities of where you spend money are going to come into play with this, but you should have a really good idea of how much money you have in your budget to play with on planning supplies, including the actual planner. The next question to ask yourself is what is your planning style? Are you a very functional, all you need is a pen and paper type of planner, or are you more decorative and you like some stickers here and there, or are you really decorative and you go all out with weekly sticker kits, washi, and all of the various things that you can put into a planner. And it's very much a creative outlet for you. And so you like to get all the things and put all the things into your planner. The next question is portability. And how frequently do you need your planner to travel with you? Kind of related to that, what size bag are you using to carry the planner and how much other things are you stuffing into that bag? A couple of quick examples from my own purse stash and ones I travel with on a regular basis. I have a somewhat smaller handbag for when I want to run out and do errands. I will often also carry another bag with this, but I'm also not carrying a planner in either of those bags. The other purse that I also routinely travel with, <laughs> much bigger. Um, so if you look at, see, what size bag? And I can stuff a bag. I can stuff a bag very easily. What space do you have to work with when you are carrying your planner? Do you have space for a bigger planner or do you need a much smaller type of planner? I asked earlier, what is your planning style? And I mentioned decorative planning. Take into account also your level of decorative planning. Like, do you like to do weekly kits every single week or are you more of a here and there? I use stickers as they come to me. I don't need a whole cohesive set from like Planner Kate or Fern Creek Stickers or Sadie Sticker Company or, or any of the weekly kit places out there. What kind of binding do you like best? Do you like an O-ring style? Do you like a standard coil? Do you like rings? Do you prefer discs? Do you like a traveler's notebook? There are all types of planner bindings out there, so figure out which one you like best, but also, which ones do you absolutely hate and you cannot stand to have at all? Because you are not going to use those unless there are other aspects to a planner that make you overlook that thing that you hate because they are so important to you. And related to that, what are your actual priorities when choosing your planner? So you've got all of these considerations to take into place, but what are your top three things that your planner must have and the top three things that it must not have. And are those must nots deal breakers? For the 2022 line of Moxie Life Planners, I'm going to run through some reasons why you should consider choosing each particular product. For the 12 month planner, you should consider choosing it if you prefer your annual planner all in one book. When you have space in your budget for a nice planner, but your budget doesn't extend 
prefer more than one. You strongly prefer dated products. You prefer designed covers over vegan leather covers. And you prefer your weekly layout across two pages and your decorating style lends itself more to weekly kits. Reasons why you should consider the six month planner include, you strongly prefer the standard coil binding. And like the 12 month planner, you prefer your weekly layout across two pages and your decorative style lends itself to weekly kits. You've got space in your bag for a larger planner, but you don't need to carry the entire year with you. You're not a design person and you prefer more neutral covers. And you prefer the flexibility of undated products. Here are some reasons why you should consider getting the daily planner. You need more space for your daily planning than what is provided through a weekly layout. You prefer the A5 size or it's more that you need something much smaller to fit into the bags that you carry for portability. You prefer to do your goal planning in quarterly installments. Your decorating style isn't dependent on weekly kits. You frankly don't care about having a pre-printed habit tracker. Here are some reasons why you should consider getting the companion notebook system. You have another planner system that you love, but you want to start incorporating Moxie Life's goal setting system. Related to this, you're more of a goal setter than you are a planner. Like an example would be that your digital calendar is the extent that you plan. And this is a really key thing to keep in mind is that your budget may not extend to a whole planner system. And that's okay. The real core of Moxie Life is the goal setting system. You prefer a book binding slash a lay flat binding. And then you want to carry your goals with you on a regular basis, but you don't need the bulk of a whole planner. Other things to consider include the daily sticky pad for when you want the option of daily planning, but you don't need to do it every single day. The habit tracker sticky pad if you like habit tracking, but you need something smaller than the 12 month or six month planners. Also, if your budget allows, you can mix and match a number of these different systems. Before I run through the Moxie Life system choices for how expensive they are for the entire year, I want to remind you that Moxie Life makes a number of printables available on their website when you sign up for their newsletter. They don't have the entire instructions for setting your goals or pages like the weekly actions because they want to reserve some stuff for their planners but you can go through and do things like the compass assessment. You can try out the layout, like the horizontal and vertical weekly layouts. You can also do the daily layout that has, that has been added to the printables library. So please, 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 before you buy, go through those printables and see if the system is something that you think will work for you and if you like the layouts that have been made available. So the Moxie Life system choices from least expensive to most expensive for the entire year. And please note that shipping and taxes are not included in these prices. Number one, the companion notebook system. This is an all-in-one system with all four quarters that you will get plus a guide booklet on how to do the goals for the year, as well as space for your annual goals in that same booklet. And the cost for this is $56. You may want to consider adding on the daily sticky pad that I just mentioned. I believe that's going to be around $10. Number two, the 12 month flagship planner. It's $76, but you get everything in one booklet and that's all you need for the entire year. Number three, the six month unbound and unpunched planner. Now keep in mind that this is going to be a very limited supply right at launch. So this could sell out very quickly for the entire year. The cost of it would be $96. So it's $48 per pack. Number four is the six month planner itself with the coil and cover. And this is going to be $128 for the entire year as it's $64 per planner. Number five, is the daily unbound and unpunched planner. Like the six month, this is also very limited quantities. So you may have to buy all four if you want to do unbound and unpunched. This is going to be $176 for the year because it's $44 per pack. Number six, 
the daily planner itself. So again, cover and coil included. This is going to be $232 for the year because this is $58 per planner. Something to remember is that the daily and the six month planners are undated. What that means for Moxie Life is that they are planning on bringing in more quantities over the course of the year. They are not planning on bringing in more of the 12 month dated planners once they sell out. Once those are sold out, they are done. They are not reordering. However, the undated products do not have an expiration date essentially. So those will be purchased and made available throughout the course of the year. So you don't have to buy the six month and the daily all at once for the entire year. My personal plan is to buy one daily planner at launch and make sure I like it and that I will actually use it before I start ordering the other three planners. And what this means is that I'm able to spread out the cost over the course of the year and budget a little bit better rather than trying to spend $232 all at once during launch. I also want to make a plug for watching the review crew videos, which are due out on November 12th. I am not part of the review crew this year, but please search out those review crew videos and look at what they are saying for the planners that they have gotten. So if my video has helped you kind of like narrow down which ones you're kind of thinking about, look at the review crew videos to see what they say specifically about it, as well as seeing the physical product. Because I'm not gonna have those until after launch. And I will absolutely be doing a video about what I have chosen to buy and going over them once I receive them. But check out the principles on Moxie Life's site, check out the review crew videos. And if somebody helps you make a decision, and I mean somebody besides me, please consider using their affiliate link to make your purchase. If I'm the one who has helped you totally decide on what you wanna buy, I do have an affiliate link and I appreciate your support using that link. I get a portion of what your purchase price is. It does not add anything to your total purchase price, but I do wanna encourage you to consider using other people's affiliate links if they have been just as helpful, if not more helpful than what I have done. And ultimately, I really want to encourage you to be very intentional about why you are choosing which products you choose with Moxie Life because this is an expensive product. It is a product that I very much believe in. I have found to be incredibly useful, but I am also at a stage in my life where doing the kind of deep dive, intensive goal setting and reflection is very useful for me. If you don't need to be super intensive and you don't need that deep dive, you've got your goals set, you're rocking forward and you're at an even keel with your life, then maybe this is not something you need. I think it can still be helpful, but if it's not something you super need and it's not in your budget, it may not be the right time. You can always come in because going forward, the Moxie Life team is very, very intent in making sure that their store is stocked with products because Sierra was not happy <laughs> that the store has basically been empty for the majority of 2021. So please remember, if this is not the right time for you to be purchasing Moxie Life products, please consider just using the free printables and doing what you can with those and waiting until you have the money for this system because I think it's extremely useful, but it's not going to be useful if it's outside of your budget because that will put stress out of you. So that is my little plug. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me here today. If you have found anything in this video useful, please consider recommending it to friends who you think might also find something useful in this. <laughs> I really thank you for being here and may all your dreams be Ruby dreams. Bye-bye.